In this video, we're going to look at some functions that are used to extract parts of a matrix. We have the following uh, functions that are used for that purpose. The function EL applied to a vector extracts the K element of a vector. The function EL applied to a matrix requires two indices I and J and it will extract the element IJ of the matrix. Call will extract a particular column. Row will extract a particular row. Aug will extract what is called the cofactor. The cofactor and the minor are operations that are used in linear algebra for calculating uh, determinants, for example. And you also have this um, v, uh, v minor matrix ij will extract the sub matrix rather than the, the minor, the determinant minor. Find rows matrix expression, find the row with a certain expression first occurs. These are mostly useful in programming. And the function submatrix will extract a submatrix out of existing matrix, out of the existing matrix, starting with row I1, ending in row I2, starting with column J1, ending with column J2. We have defined here a particular matrix, C2, that we're going to use to demonstrate the use of those um, functions. For example, the EL element function, if we apply it to matrix C2, sorry, uppercase C2, okay, there we got it. Uh, in the second row, third column, you get that. Second row, third column, you get the L element. Um, there's another example right here. Um, to extract a row, for example, here's extracting the second row from C2, we're going to get this vector. This vector in the second row. Column, the second column will be this column. If we had a vector, we can extract elements of the vector 2. So suppose that we have defined, I'm going to for, 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 copy this. I'm going to move this to the left and call it V. So I'm defining that vector. If I want to extract an element from that vector, I could say EL, V, um, let's say the fourth element would be the negative 8. Cofactor determinant and um, and uh, determinant and sub matrix work with um, with square matrices only. So I'm going to produce or redefine my C two okay, right here. I have redefined the matrix C2. The original I had it with uh, five rows, three columns, with different elements in a four by four. With that, I'm able to extract what is called the cofactor 3-2. I'm going to be, will be removing the third row and the second column and end up with a three by three matrix. And this is the determinant of that matrix. The minor determinant. It has to do with the the factor of negative one raised to the sum of the uh, of the um, row and column. For this case, three two is a five negative one to the fifth power is negative one. So that's where the negative sign comes from. As I mentioned, these two ideas are used a lot in the calculation of determinants, mostly for programming and demonstration purposes. The minor sum matrix. That um, that I'm using right here is M32. If I find the determinant of M32, wait, sorry, I gotta type D D T and then copy this. This is the minus 184 that I mentioned earlier, and then if you extract the the numerical value, you get that 184. Ex 
extracting a submatrix. Here I'm going to go back to my original C2 matrix. This one I'm going to do Control C to copy and paste it over here. Oh, oh, I see what's happening. What's happening is that I am using the last definition. So I'm going to do a Control X here to remove this. I'm going to do a backspace, backspace, and then in column, oh, sorry, just do C2, column, Control V. And that way I'm redefining the matrix, but I need to use these this actual values, Control C. Okay, now they're re redefined, and I'm saying extract. Oh, okay. I got I got a problem here. So uh, let me pause and redefine that. C okay, I redefined C2, augmenting a couple of matrices that I copied and pasted here. And so I end up with a metric that has four rows and six columns. If I say, well, you know, I want to extract the sub metric that includes rows two to four, that would be this uh, this row and this row two, three, four, three rows actually. This two, three, four, and columns four. Uh, three, three to five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be a metric, a three by three metric starting right here and ending down here. And so that's what I have. I could do something like sub matrix C2. And let's say we're going to do the second and third uh, rows. And we're going to do the first and second columns. And so the second and third rows would be this and, and this one. And the first and second column, the start with three and seven, so that gives me a two by two matrix. And this is also useful for programming. And so that's what I wanted to present for this type of functions.